Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett. <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? I appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. I wouldn't be much of a friend if I did. I wasn't much of a friend for dropping you into the mess in the first place. Sorry about that. It won't happen again. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. Look, Finn, I didn't mean for it to get out of hand like that. And I didn't mean to end up in this shithole living with backstabbing assholes. But here we are. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. Look, it's over, all right? Just drop it. You can bugger off if you like. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobor to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. It's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon see me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now, I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Don't count on it. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. I'd keep an eye out for you if you weren't such an ass about everything. You don't give a shit about me. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers I never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Or wolves. Then don't worry. You were born to kill wildlings. That jab you gave me the other day, it fucking hurt. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend. You handled that well, Garrett. 
They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. shall not end until my, death. until my death. I shall take no wife. I shall take no wife. Hold no lands. Father, no, lands. Father, no children. I shall wear no crowns. And win I shall no wear no glory. crowns and win no glory. I shall live and die, I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword, I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. We're men of the watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Don't forget the practice swords. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I've missed you, Uncle. I never expected to see you here. A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Right, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Please tell me there's a plan. But we can't let them get away with this. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. describes a fortification, 
a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes, almost an obsession, a vital secret he protected at all costs. Do you think this citadel can help us save House Forrester? Lord Forrester certainly believes so. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself, somewhere north of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy, but you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. I just took the Black Uncle, swore my allegiance to the Night's Watch. Even if I were to agree, somewhere north of the wall, it's not a lot to go on. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. Uncle, that's desertion. The Night's Watch execute men who desert. I know. I wouldn't ask this of you if there was another way. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why, I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... Look. There's a clasp. It must open. No idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. A perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Is. The North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. God's watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett. I don't know. Probably like little shards or something. Wait, so like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. He's Castellan to House Forrester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So you were just talking about lumber all that time? It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on.
Garrett. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? There's news that House Forrester is in trouble. I'm sorry to hear it, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Cotter's a clever one. He could be a real help. I'm glad you can trust your brother. I'll remember him. Herald Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept, and finally we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. House Whitehill. This one's the Boltons. Gary. Gary, what's the master? You know him. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow. See these new recruits to the master. Don't do something you regret. If it isn't the fucking pig bomber. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I did with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the wall. Brother, looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrod. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. How far north is this Crasters? Some 60 miles into wildland territory. It's treacherous country. I appreciate if you're thinking of going, but you should know Brit volunteered. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. You don't want a man like Brit helping you. He's a murderer. Wouldn't be the first at Castle Black. Where I'm going, I need a man who knows how to kill. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. And no more talk of the North Grove, either. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. I understand. You won't have any trouble from me. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Goff! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. He wants us ready for the march tomorrow. Just give the word. I'm tired of being under Frostfinger's boot all the time. You do know we're heading off to fight a band of murderers, right? That's why you bring a ranger. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with you going to Craster's. Well, there's something you should know then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. I didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. Look, I 
did try. And you, you just said your uncle was here about Ironwood. But I think it was something else. I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumour. No, it's not. Of course it is. I heard it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Lord Forrester knew all about it. He said it's a place of great power. Power that could save my house. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. To deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumours is all. I wouldn't know myself. Rumours my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. They're just things I hear around Castle Blacksall. People talk, you know. Not about the North Grove they don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Don't make me regret lying about the knife for you, Cotter. Tell me what you know. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know it's crazy. I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons, south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local, and, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for steel. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. Cotter, every blade in Castle Black will slit your throat if they find out. You're their sworn enemy. You don't need to tell me that. Are we... we still friends? I mean, I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett, I've heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there want to kill you. All right. Even if you are a bloodthirsty wildling, I won't let you down. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. Is there something off about him? Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map? Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I want to know who I can trust. Finn! 
Get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. That's Ironwood for sure. So, wonder who's riding it. Pig farmer. A 300 mile walk, and you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Craster's, but this is even better. Jon Snow can't hold your hand now. The wall's a dangerous place. People slip off all the time. Still have some fighting spirit left in you, huh? I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If we're doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. It seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. He kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it... You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Too bad your father didn't fight like that. I might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Stop, damn it! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? <laughs> Let's see if you scream like you're... You got lucky, pig farmer. You didn't kill my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. Whoa! Ah! Ah! 